Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to record PowerPoint presentation with audio. So I am going to open up the Microsoft PowerPoint here. And now open up the PowerPoint presentation that you want to record here. So as you can see right now I have a presentation open and I want to record this presentation along with the audio. So first of all I am going to click on insert at the top. Okay then on the right hand side you can see this audio option so if i click on this little arrow just below it then i will get two options audio on my pc and record audio option so you can use these two options to add voiceover to all the slides one by one okay uh, if there is already a voiceover uh, recorded then you can add it using audio on my pc or you can use the record audio option here to record it one by one according to the slide here okay you can give a name and then you can record it okay let me show you how I am going to give it a name hello then I will click on this red icon hello everyone subscribe to my channel click on stop now click on ok here and you'll get a sound button right here alright so this is how you can add a voice over here to change the settings of the sound option click on playback in the menu here right then there are a lot of options here one click sequence instead of one click sequence i'm going to click on automatically all right so this is how you can add voice over on your files now once you do this or you uh, or, or you add it through the uh, pc then you can click on slideshow at the top now depending upon the version of your Microsoft PowerPoint, if you are using Office 365, you will get a different kind of recording options. However, most of the uh, people who are using Microsoft 2013 to 2019 or 21, 22, okay. So if they have a normal PowerPoint, then you will get these options. When you go to slideshow, then you will get one of the options as record slideshow. Okay, so what you need to do is click on this little icon right here just below the record slideshow and you'll get two options right here record from current slide or record from the beginning you need to click on record from the beginning here all right now click on slide and animation timings click on narration ink and laser pointers okay so we want all of that if you don't want it then you can remove them now click on start recording here hello everyone subscribe to my channel click Alright, so I just uh, recorded the whole uh, presentation here, okay. Now, uh, how will you get it on your PC? So this is the one of the things that you want to know. Alright, so what you're going to do is simply click on file here. Then click on export here. Now we are going to export this file uh, as an MP4, okay. You can also save this file as a PowerPoint presentation and you can use it on any other computer. However, uh, our main aim is here to save the file as a video file. Alright, so that you can directly share it with your colleagues or you, with your students so that they will be able to play it as a video and they will, uh, they can use that. Okay, so you're going to click on export here. Then you can, you are going to click on create a video, which is our main aim. Now there are a few options here, full HD, large 1080p. Okay. You can click here ultra hd is also an option so i'm going to uh, go with the full hd here all right now the second option is very very important here use recorded times you click on this little arrow here and you'll get few options don't use recorded timings and narrations use recorded timings and narrations so this is very important because uh, sometimes what happens is that uh, if i don't select this then you can see seconds spent on each slide so if you do it automatically without the recorded timings and narrations then it will give five seconds to each one of the slides however we don't want that because uh, in few of this uh, few of your slides there may be a very little information okay only your voiceover will be coming right so what you're going to do is simply click here and click on recorded timings and narrations right so once you do this then you need to click on create video and now you need to give it a name and you need to give it a location so i'm going to go here i'm simply going to type hello as a the name click on desktop 
so mp is the 4 video is the mp4 format ok so if i click here you will also get windows media audio which is avi file however we need mp4 which is playable in most of the audio players so once you do this click on save here now at the bottom you can see creating video to uh, video hello dot mp4 so it will take uh, around just a uh, uh, just few seconds depending upon your computer configuration now once you uh, once we save this then I'm going to play the video to show you how it's uh, going to play in real time now one more thing uh, I want to say is that while uh, recording the slide so you can actually directly speak so that it will be recorded uh, along with the slide however while transitioning the slide the your audio won't be recorded so uh, before you click the uh, arrow icon or the mouse icon to change the slide you should finish the voiceover before that all right now we have saved it now you can see hello.mp4 is here so i'm going to play it with the uh, vlc media player here hello everyone subscribe to my channel hello everyone subscribe to my channel all right now you can see the whole slide show is of 13 seconds that we recorded uh, using the record slides option so this is how you can do it so uh, if you have any doubts please comment thank you for watching the video please like it and subscribe to my youtube channel thank you